Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So uh, firstly I'd like to thank all of you who subscribed to my channel and thanks to all of you who viewed uh, my videos. Thank you for the support uh, that I've received over the last couple of weeks. And uh, yes, I just want to uh, say quickly that I started, I uploaded the first video a couple of months ago and then last month uh, just three videos and uh, this month I've decided to uh, drop a daily video and uh, the response has been overwhelming and I'm just very grateful for all of your wonderful comments and uh, your feedback. So uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, today I'm coming to you with a uh, your Sunday Oracle reading. So I have seen that this is not as popular, but I, I do believe that it does have some value. And um, I think your kind of ideal uh, pick a card readings and finding out how he or she feels about you um, does get a bit boring. We do have other aspects to our lives. And so today I'm bringing you a uh, pick a card or pick a deck rather, as always. Uh, a pick a deck uh, oracle card reading on career, finances, work, um, money, that area of your life. So um, please go ahead and choose either deck one, two or three. And um, yeah, you can go down uh, in the description box below to the timestamp and uh, to find this timestamp, I mean, and then go directly to uh, the number that you've chosen. So I'm going to begin the reading. Okay, so we begin with this one. And uh, the question we are asking today is, what does the querent or what does the viewer need to know about their finances or about their work or their career? What do they need to know about the material aspect of their lives? Um, if they're seeking advice, what advice do they need to hear? If they, perhaps if there's a warning to be given, um, please come forth with that information. So we're asking um, all the um, helping beings to, to aid us in um, accessing the message for you. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick shuffle. I have shuffled the cards before. Uh, but I'm just going to give it another quick shuffle to connect with your energy and to those who will watch this video. And there we have our first card. Okay, so um, the card we have here is Come to Life. And um, the way I work very often uh, is clairvoyantly and I have been working clairvoyantly for the last years now and I'm going to I'm going to um, focus on this card and give you uh, clairvoyant messages rather than read uh, what the author of the deck has to say about it. Uh, so with this card I feel that um, there's the, those of you who have chosen this deck um, are hesitant in revealing yourself to the world. You're hesitant in revealing your true attributes, your true gifts, your talents, what you're here for, what you're able to give the world. It's as if you, you hold this to yourself. It's as, it's as if you hide this and you pretend to be something else. Um, it's as if you are giving in to the, the hype, giving in to what people expect from you, behaving in that way, um, portraying yourself as something that you're not really, and ignoring that of which is you. And this part of you that is you is it's mortifying, it's dying, it's weary. And so the advice I think that comes from this card is um, to say, in terms of your work, in terms of your, um, your business, in terms of your career, what is it that you need to be doing? 
What is it that you really need to be doing from a soul perspective? This is not what you need to be doing to be paying the bills. This is not what you need to be doing um, to because, because of peer pressure or because you need to keep up with the Joneses. But what is it that really, truly feeds your soul and speaks to you? What is your soul purpose and what is it that you're here to give to this planet? Because this is where you're going to find your answers. And if you find yourself in a work situation where you're not able to truly give of yourself, where you need to hide your talents, where you need to hide your positive attributes, where you need to hold back on how talented you are, or where you need to give um, commentary on something or your opinion on something, or if you find yourself in a workplace or in a situation, in a career where you are not valued, where your voice is not valued, where you, your opinion is not valued, where your contribution is not valued, then this card, uh, what, I, what I'm hearing is that this card is telling you to step forth. Step forth with the guidance that you have from the divine that's sitting here and, and, and giving you this guidance. Uh, what I mean is, is there is constantly, you're constantly being watched, you're constantly being guided. You just need to listen to that and you have that there and you can call upon that there. And uh, that's what this raven signifies. You have the strength and the stealth of this snake here and the wisdom that comes with, from within. It's within you. It's within, it's part of your talent. Yeah, she's, she's using this to, this is what she has, right? This is what she's able to give the world. But instead, she's painting herself over because she's, obeying the monkey she's listening to what this monkey wants her to do and the monkey is your corporation the monkey is your is the market the monkey is your the workplace scenario where um, it's all about the money but in that process uh, you're losing what your moment here on this planet to shine to be able to give forth what is yours to give and so if it, you are in a situation where you're not giving or, or you're not feeling appreciated rather um, and you're not able to give because you don't have the possibility to give, you don't have the chance to give, you don't have the platform um, from which to, to exhibit yourself and all that you, have, you are, uh, where you're not able to grow from your, within you, then seek that. Yeah, uh, for those of you who are not working for someone else, for those of you who are entrepreneurs who work for yourself, uh, freelancers, um, or have your own business, where is it that you are pandering to the needs of the market and not actually being true to yourself? Where is it uh, that you need to go back and ask yourself, what is it that brings out the light in me? Where is it that I radiate? What is it that I need to give to this planet and that what I need to give to my fellow beings? And um, yeah, what is it that I need to give? And how am I going to go about doing this? And I think that once you are able to acknowledge um, that you, once you're able to give yourself the permission to be able to give to this planet, to be able to give to this world what it is that you authentically can give, what it is that you only can give. No one else can give what this but you. Then once, it, once you're able to give yourself the permission to do that, once you're able to own that, I feel that um, you'll start coming to life. And that's what this card is. It's called Come to Life. And the number of it is 43, if that's of any interest to you. So concentrate on coming to life in the next while. Uh, watch yourself and watch where you are pandering to the needs of others and going against what is your authentic will. 
and um, that is, yeah, that is the advice for you. Uh, for those of you who've chosen the oracle card number one, the deck number one um, in this reading. So uh, I thank you for uh, having popped by and we're moving on to the next one. And this is the number two. That is the, the cover here. Okay, what we're asking is, what is it that those, of, that those who've chosen or those who will choose the deck number two need to hear about their work, their finances, or their career. What is it that those who've chosen this deck need to hear today with regard to their work or their career? Okay, so here we have the card of the number 13. And it's, um, it's Coral. It's called Coral and it's, the, the advice is nurturing. So here I feel, in the first deck, I felt that um, this is somebody who was, who was basically starting off with something or needs to start off with something, needs the affirmation. But here I feel that you have the affirmation already. Here I feel that you're on your way to making something for yourself. You have an idea of what it is that you need to give to this world. You have an idea of what it is that you need to actually uh, do. What it, what, is, what it is that fulfills you and what it is that is of benefit to others. And the, the advice given here is that you need to nurture that. So where is it in your work scenario, in your career? Are you, where is it that you're not able, uh, that you're not at this moment nurturing your, your work? Where is it that perhaps you're feeling neglectful, perhaps you're feeling that you're a bit ousted from your environment and you need you don't feel like a part of it anymore or where is it that you need to go back and look at uh, the love that you need to give yourself so um, the, the message that I'm getting for those of you who've chosen this card is that you're on the right path uh, you've chosen correctly and now you just have to nurture those gifts now you just have to work on it so pay attention to the finer detail I'm getting. Um, I'm, I'm getting nurtured, even if it's laborious, administrative, bureau bureaucratic work that you have to do. Approach it with a nurturing attitude because this nurturing attitude is what's going to help you to be able to get through the long haul. So the way I see it is that you've started your journey and uh, you're on your route to going to where you need to. But it's a long journey and it's almost a never-ending journey. It's, it's something that uh, is part of the process of your growth. It's part of the process of your achievement. It's part of the process of your, of your success. It's the road to your success. And that success is there and it's within reach. But... It requires the nurturing. So don't be too hasty to be able to get things done. Take your time and do it in the way that you know it requires. Um, you, it requires, um, do what you need to do in the way, excuse me, I'm struggling to get the sentence out. Do what you need to do in the way that you know it needs to be exhibited in the way that you know it needs to be presented. Put it, put it out there. Take your time to do it. Take your time to take care of the finer details. Enjoy the process. Nurture yourself. Go within to nurture yourself. 
when you are putting this out there because when you do that you will find that the work that you give or the product that you make or the service that you deliver is going to be filled with love and it's going to have a different vibration than if you just did it and the energy I'm picking up from this those people who have chosen this card right now this not may not apply to every one of you but it, it's certainly a very it's an overriding energy that I'm picking up right now is that somebody is in a hurry they're in a hurry to get this done you know hurry to get it out there you know hurry to push forth and and be at the top of your game but you're sacrificing quality in the meantime. You've, and the quality is not necessarily in the quality of the delivery, the service delivery or the product that you're delivering. The quality, uh, the, where you, the quality is, is, is uh, suffering is that you are not gaining from it. You are not able to enjoy the pearls of wisdom that come from the process of doing this task. You are not able to drink the... Um, the ambrosia from the enjoyment of your work. Yeah, you need to. So um, I'm getting all these words from spirits. So, um, uh, pardon me if I stumble upon myself. Uh, stumble upon my words. I mean. Uh, so yeah, take time to delicately savor what it is that you're doing, and take have joy. Um, take joy in in the in the details. Feel the joy that emanates from you nurturing your work, nurturing the task that you have at hand. Whether it's filling out a form, whether it's delivering a service to a client, whether it's performing a task, whatever it is, nurture it. Give it the love. Give it the concentration. Give it the dedication. Give it your all in the moment that you're in it. Immerse yourself in it. And you're going to have a whole other experience in there. And um, I feel that what is like an endless circle right now, what is this, what is kind of going on without end and feels laborious to you, Will become a labor of love um, at the end, when you when you decide to nurture this. And um, the question we asked was also regarding uh, money. And I think that for all these readings, the if if you take care, if you take the advice, yeah, uh, this is a way of of you able to implement this in your life whatever the message is in any of these cards, your your finances will ultimately improve or it will be not uh, relevant anymore because the joy, the fulfillment that you feel from the task, from the work that you're doing, from the career path that you've chosen is going to be so overwhelming that um, all else falls into place and you don't actually realize it. So that's your message for those of you who've chosen um, this card, uh, this deck. Okay. So for those of you who've chosen this deck, the question we're asking today is, what is it that the viewer or the querent needs to hear regarding their work or their career, or with regard to financial matters. What advice do they need to hear? Here, are there any warnings that need to come forth today? What is it that those of you chosen uh, this number need to hear today. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. And this is the rain. Okay, so the way in which I read this card is um, to say that 
There are times when uh, things are good and there are times when things are not so good. And it's absolutely okay to be in a situation right now, to accept the situation right now, or all that is not okay about the situation. It's absolutely okay to accept the situation completely, to accept all of the situation. There is wisdom to be gained from accepting all of the situation. There is growth to be determined. Even though you may feel in the situation that you are not at fault or someone else is to blame or this situation could have been entirely avoided, it is important for you to understand where it is that you could change your reaction to the situation, your emotional reaction. So it's completely in order to be in shock and to respond in a certain way. It's completely okay to be sad about a situation. The, the, the beings or the spirits are not suggesting that you deny your emotions. What they are saying is that you need to be able to um, you need to be able to to change your response to the situation. You need to be able to grow with the situation. And when you grow with the situation, there are certain wisdom, pearls of wisdom, or certain uh, jewels that come to the forth with this. And it's going to help you elevate your status. Okay. They're saying to me that you need to roll with the punches in this situation. You need to be able to get your hands dirty. Um, just give it your all, okay? But don't respond to it in an emotional way. Yes, you have emotions around it. Yes, you are feeling uh, upset about it. Yet you're feeling sad and disappointed and you don't know how it is that you can actually change the situation right now because it feels as if you don't have the the control over the situation. It seems like others have the kind of, that kind of control. But what it is that you need to remember is that uh, with each disappointment that you face, with each uh, difficulty, obstacle that you face, you can see it in a different light. And that is the power that you have here. That is what you can change. That is all that you can change at this given situation. And it's not all, um, it's not all um, negative, actually. There is a silver lining to this cloud. There is a situation that's going to come to bear, which you can't really see right now, which is going to work towards you positively. And I feel that this is what you actually desire. What you actually desire is going to come to you because, but you can't, you don't believe it right now. It's something that you just don't see it happening because you are so far from it or you think that you're so far from it. But actually what the spirits are saying is that you are much closer to it than you realize. And uh, you just need to manage yourself within the situation. You need to... Uh, Think about how, it, look at your own behavior and look at how you behave when you're confronted with the situation that's upsetting you. Yeah, don't just look at the situation. Don't just look at the others in this matter. Don't just look at the trends of the universe, so to say. Look at your reaction to it and then look back at how you've been reacting previously and ask yourself, is there a cycle here? Is this familiar? Is this a familiar pattern of behavior? Because it seems as if this way of behaving that you have is actually going about working towards the manifestation of this negativity. Not completely. That's about 10% of this. That's not. Com it's not com completely so. But what they're saying is that if you want to avoid this in the future, you need to be able to, in a different situation or in the same work environment, uh, dealing with similar 
types of obstacles, you need to be able to react differently than you are right now. Okay, so you don't want to repeat the cycle. You don't want this to happen again, and you can control it. You, from that point of view, you have the manifestation ability. What needed to happen right now is, what happened right now needed to happen because you needed to learn something. Take the gifts that come forth and learn from them. And step out of the space of feeling like this was done unto you. Because yes, this was done unto you, but where is it that you can gain from this? Where is it that you can empower yourself through this experience? And that is what you need to be focusing on right now. And I'm not really getting any clear indication regarding money, but um, that was a very strong message that came to you um, with from, from, yeah, uh, from the spirits uh, with regard to your work or your career. more I feel like it's more work. feels very much like an employment situation. But obviously that's not going to apply to everyone who was watching this. Um, but the message uh, will apply to all of the, you who've uh, correctly intuited and chosen uh, the number three pile. So I thank you uh, for coming by and... Uh, partaking in this reading today and I wish you well and um, once again I thank you all of you who have subscribed to the channel and um, yes blessings abound.